Hey, ABC, it's Greeno. Uh, just a quick video. Got a trade in. Wanted to show that. And a couple other just kind of quick things. Uh, something for Scott and something for Aaron. Just kind of jumping in on some th things they've shown. So, first up, uh, did a killer trade with uh, John, uh, SMF Captain Howdy. Everybody probably knows John now. He's the king of kiss <laughs> here in the VC, man. Uh, incredible collection. Really cool dude. Uh, I got talking to him online, and uh, I was just talking, you know, what we're going to do, talk about records and music, and ended up putting a trade together. Uh, he's already shown what he got, and uh, John, hope you're really happy with that stuff. Uh, I'm very happy with the trade. Uh, like I said, I hope you're happy. Uh, but what John sent me was... Uh, Kiss Alive, the Millennium Concert, that uh, just come out last year. And I got talking to him, and you know, of course, got around talking about Kiss, and I'd mentioned, kind of wanted to grab this, but it was pricey, and I was just, you know, kind of on the fence, waiting for it to pop up at the right price, and he's like, well, I got an extra one, if you want to do a trade, and he's like, let's do it, brother, so, <laughs> worked out great. And this is a uh, European pressing. So very cool. Thanks a lot, dude. I uh, hope you know, more trades down the road. Uh, definitely great. So. All right, and we're back. A uh, little interruption there, sorry. Okay, so uh, I don't know, a video, video or two back, Scott showed uh, this record. And man, I hadn't thought about that record for a long time and actually pulled it out because I want to spin it uh, he actually did a needle drop yeah and just got me thinking about it and I haven't uh, heard it for a long time so anyways I thought I'd add a little bit to it uh, just kind of for Scott and anybody else that's interested and the uh, album was M80 Maniacs Revenge it's a pretty cool album and like I say man it's been forever since I've heard this and definitely want to drop the needle. Uh, Scott said he didn't really know anything about this band. I think he said he reached out to Aaron. I'm thinking, uh, if I remember right. And uh, he said he didn't know anything about him either. Uh, cool band. This was from like 85. And this was their second uh, album. Uh, this is actually on Attic. This pressing. I think Scott's was on uh, Roadrunner. But anyways uh, that was their second album their first album self-titled M80 this is on uh, Megaton yeah, Megaton 0008 kinda cool the deal is with this band it's uh, mainly one dude Nicky Buzz guitar player singer now there's also a connection with another band I'm going to show here in a second which is kind of the main reason I'm uh, showing these uh, but while looking this stuff up, just kind of refreshing my memory on the band, like I said, it's been forever. Uh, looking this up, this dude is Don uh, Costa, the bass player. And when I was a kid, I heard stories about this guy who played bass with Ozzy Osbourne, and he got thrown out of Ozzy Osbourne band because. He was totally over the edge, just crazy too wild for the band. And the story was he had like a cheese grater on the back of his base. And he would cut his skin with it and bleed everywhere. And evidently, it's this dude here. By looking up you know, information online, I ran across that. This is the dude that was supposedly cutting himself with a cheese grater and all that. Which is just hilarious. I barely remember that as a kid hearing those stories. And this has been great pulling these out, you know, refreshing my memory about the albums and finding that. So, big thanks, Scott. <laughs> you know, I never would have looked it up if it wasn't for that. Okay, before M80, Nicky Buzz was in a cool band called Vendetta. And they were actually signed to a uh, major label, Epic. And this is the same dude here, Nicky Buzz. And this is 
not like the M80 stuff, not as metal and all that. This is more, uh, it's from like 82, I think. Yeah, 1982. This is more uh, early 80s rock, uh, melodic, not hair or anything like that, just very cool hooks. Like, there's one song in here called uh, Jedi Knight. It's really cool. But it's a cool album, so I'm just kind of putting it out there. Uh, Scott, I think you were asking for information about M80. You can trace them back to Vendetta. You ever come across this? Very much worth picking up. Killer album. Alright, uh, like I said, uh, I want to kind of jump in on Aaron too. He just I just watched his uh, last video. He was showing test pressings, really cool test pressings uh, from Running Wild and Christ can't even remember now. Uh, it's only been 10 minutes. But anyways, I have a couple test pressings. Thought I'd pull them out and show them. Kind of cool. I dig test pressings. You don't see them very often. And they're kind of cool. Uh, this is actually on a major. This is White Lion's Pride on Atlantic. Doesn't have the cover and all that. Just has the info sheet. <coughs> and here's the album. You can see it says ATL for the account, and then White Lion. Uh, I can't remember where I ran across this. It was cheap somewhere, like years ago, or a few years ago. But, uh, but that was kind of cool. Cause I mean, I've, this may be the only like major label test pressing I've ever come across. All right, next is uh, Toxic Shock, Welcome Home Near Dark. And this was on Nuclear Blast. Looks like it's Nuclear Blast uh, 027. And it's kind of funny, it's on the same, uh, was it Palace? One of the test pressings Aaron had was on, uh, or had this label on it. And you see somebody just wrote on it. Test pressing. <laughs> so it's kind of cool, and I don't have a real pressing of this album. So it's kind of cool to have a test pressing for now, I guess. And this one's just in a blank sleeve. And this is Steel Vengeance Prisoner, about 1988. This is a blank test pressing label. And the last one is Hellion, the Black Book. Which is kind of wild, they made up like a little yeah, cover for it. And here's the insert from Music for Nations. Uh, Hellion, the Black Book, Music for Nations, Heavy Metal, heavy metal. Uh, Distributor is Pinnacle. Let's see if we can see the label here. Just uh, blank and it's stamped Hellion. Kind of cool, like I say, man, just test pressings are pretty crazy rare, I think, compared to, you know, and I understand what Aaron was talking about, gold stamp promos, which I think the big deal about those, or to me, are, I always view the gold stamps are, those are like the initial runs, the initial pressings, so they're early on, hopefully they'll sound better, and I agree, I see them all the time, and it's not like it's a rarity thing, it's just a... Uh, you know, if I can get a gold stamp promo, I'll grab it because, in my mind, it's an earlier pressing and stampers are still hot and they're going to sound good, hopefully. Not worn out yet. Uh, actually, there's some albums, and I can't even think of anything, maybe, uh, I don't know, I can't even think of anything right off the top of my head, but there's a couple albums I see all the time as gold stamp promos and never seen just a regular, which makes me think. Wow, did this ever go into production, or did they just do some promos, send them out? No interest. We're not going to press it anymore. You know. But anyways, I thought I'd kind of piggyback in on uh, Scott and Aaron. Uh, very interesting stuff they were talking about. So, it's at VC. Uh, probably be showing some new stuff soon. Stuff always coming in, still not digging. Just ordering stuff online. Uh, record here, record there. All right. Later, everyone.